Topping our world lead now, Ukraine reports that its forces have freed some villages around Kharkiv amid signs of a Russian retreat in that area. Recapturing the battered area would be a significant accomplishment for Ukrainian forces. However, there remain signs that the Russians are gathering nearby for a counteroffensive. We're also getting new details of the Russians' horrifying behavior in areas near Kyiv that they once occupied but since left. We need to warn you that this report by CNN's Sarah Seidner contains pictures that you will likely find disturbing. This is a stark example of a potential war crime perpetrated by Russian forces, an example the world has not yet seen, Russian soldiers shooting two civilians in the back. CNN obtained the surveillance video taken from this vehicle dealership that sits along the main highway to Kyiv. The video is from the beginning of the war, as Russians tried and failed to shell their way to the capital. The fight along this road was clearly fierce. But what happened outside this business was not a battle between soldiers or even soldiers and armed civilians. It was a cowardly, cold-blooded killing of unarmed men by Russian forces. The soldiers show up and begin breaking in. Inside of a guard shack, two Ukrainian men prepare to meet them. We track down the men's identities. One is the owner of the business, whose family did not want him named. The other was hired to guard it. My father's name is Leonid Alexeyevich Platz. His daughter Yulia wanted the world to know his name and what the Russians did to him. Both civilians, both unarmed. We know this because the video shows them greeting and getting frisked by the Russian soldiers and then casually walking away. Neither seemed to suspect what was about to happen. That is what a member of the civilian fighting force who talked to the men a couple of days before the attack told CNN. He did not want to be identified for security reasons. We came there earlier, warned people to leave that place. We also hope for the humanity of Russian soldiers. But unfortunately, they have no humanity. You see the two men walking in the shadows toward the camera. Behind them, the soldiers they were just talking to emerge. A few more steps, and their bodies drop to the ground. Dust shoots up from the bullets hitting the pavement. The soldiers have opened fire. Minutes later, the guard, Leonid, gets up, limping but alive. He manages to get inside the guard booth to make a call to the local guys for help. This is one of those guys, a Ukrainian truck driver turned civilian soldier. First of all, we felt a big responsibility. We knew we should go there because a man needed our help. He was still alive. He's the commander of a ragtag team of civilians who took up arms to fight for Ukraine and tried to save the men. When the guard called them, he explained what transpired with the soldiers. He said the soldiers asked who they were and asked for cigarettes, then let them go before shooting them in the back. When his men finally got to Leonid, he had lost massive amounts of blood. One man from our group went there and the guy was still alive. He gave him bandages, tried to perform first aid, but the Russians started shooting. They tried to fight back, but were unsuccessful. They didn't have the firepower to save their countrymen. Yulia, have you seen the video? I can't watch it now. I will save it to the cloud and leave it for my grandchildren and children. They should know about this crime and always remember who our neighbors are. Her neighbors to the north, these Russian soldiers, showed just how callous they are, drinking, toasting one another and looting the place minutes after slaying the two men. What were the last words that you remember he said to you? Bye-bye, kisses, say hello to your boys. Her boys will be left with a terrible, lasting memory, the death of their grandfather now being investigated as a war crime by prosecutors. Now, Yulia says her mother actually encouraged her to speak with us because she wanted to seek justice for the death of her father. We do now know, we talked to prosecutors who say they are looking at this video and they are investigating this officially as a potential war crime. Jake. Sarah Seidner in Kyiv, Ukraine, as the alarms go off. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.